This is Love Life Horoscope Terry reading for Gemini, from May 6th to the 20th, 2022. I'm going to pull and meditate on your first spread so that you can be part of the vision. Ooh, Wheel of Fortune wanted to flip out. All right, now, let's see. What do we got going on for you in the next two weeks? Three of Cups. Mm, some joy. The Chariot. And the Four of Pentacles. There's something of... It's this energy of you being tied to, to someone you love. That they're making a movement towards you. You may not be seeing this yet because it, it's... It's in relation to, to someone that, that has feelings for you, someone in your love space. They're making a big movement towards you. They want to celebrate something with you. You're with the Four of Pentacles. You're in this energy where everything seems to be coming to you. You're not really putting anything out to get attention. This person wants to get your attention. And they're making a huge movement to get it. I see you kind of holding back. Let's do a vision here. Let's see what's going on. Bear with me. Sometimes it takes a moment to get centered. Interesting, it's, it's like this person is on your mind. In the sense where, where something happened, something triggered your thoughts of this person. And it's, it's almost like a uh, synchronicity. I should explain, like sometimes my visions, I see things. Sometimes I get this energy of a concept happening like I just understand I can't really explain it but it's it's kind of like there's something happening between you both you may be aware of this because this person's energy is bringing something to you Hold on a sec, because now I'm just, I'm not getting anything. I'm just seeing black. It's, it's, I want to say like this person is, has been working at something to get your attention. It's, it's being brought forth to you now. Somehow they're getting your attention through something that, that they're, they're creating. Specifically for you. I'm having troubles actually seeing like anything that I can, I can attribute to, to words. Like I, I'm not seeing any artifacts. We're really trying here. It's like a coat of arms. It's that, sorry, I'm seeing like a coat of arms. Like it, it, it's something to symbolize family. 
I know it's a coat of arms. I don't know why I know that. I just, it's, it's so unusual. I'm just going to get back to the cards. Um, my eyes are opening. There, there's a coat of arms. I don't understand because like nobody really has a coat of arms anymore. Like it's something from the past. They're working on something. They're bringing it to you. Something to get your attention. It, it's like I felt this energy where, where you got triggered somehow. I feel that this happens before they bring this to you. Like it's already on your mind. This person's on your mind all of a sudden. It's like you're thinking about them and they show up. But they show up bringing something. Let's clarify this three of cups. What are they bringing you? For them? Friendship? For you? Order? There's some sort of successive, like, like this has to happen, this has to happen, and then this happens. They want friendship with you. They, they want to bring you something in succession of that friendship. It's like there's an order to things. It's a gift from the heart. Like, like it's the best way I can put this. Something is good. Whatever they're working on here, that they, they want to, they're bringing to you, it, it's like a sign of friendship. I feel that this is someone that, that wants some sort of commitment with you. Let's ask, what does this person, how does this person perceive that you're going to, how... How is, how is this person thinking that, that you're going to perceive this gift that they're bringing you? Actually, first let's ask, are they bringing you a gift? Yeah. Whoa, Ten of Swords in reverse. Huh. Six of Swords. And the Ace of Wands. This is going to be a new start in this. This could affect you in terms of your, your future plans because it, it's, a, it's like you have this new initiative. Whatever they're bringing you, it's order, the end of something so something new can start. They... It's almost like they want to pull you into a new way of thinking. But for you, it, it's a new initiative. S something sparks here for you. Let's clarify this Ace of Wands. For them, precaution. For you, invention. So towards them, there is precaution. I do see you holding back. Coat of arms. The, the, this coat of arms thing, it started... I was thinking like it had something to do with what they're bringing you. But I didn't really think who that was pertaining to. I'm starting to think that this coat of arms is, is your energy. It's kind of like... The coat of arms would symbolize nobility, right? So, feel that this person wants to impress you. They're coming in to impress you, and there is something new for you here. But it's you, I want to say that your nobility or your status is somehow, it makes it hard for this person to impress you. Because it's, it's like you don't give your attention to anybody just off a whim, right? They are in your heart energy, so you, you do feel emotions for this person. Precaution. They want friendship. 
This could be someone from your past. They may have done something and that now they have to, they have to make up for it. The Ten of Swords in reverse. You're very cautious, but it's, it's a new start in this connection. The coat of arms for you. That's interesting. What? Let's just ask, what, what is this coat of arms about? They may be bringing you an apology, but I feel that there, there's something material attached to this. The coat of arms, the two of pentacles, the tower, and the queen of swords. It's interesting, you, you have a choice here. And it, it's not an easy choice to make because it's almost like you're, you have the option of going against whatever is mandated to you in terms of your hierarchy, in terms of your status. This is someone that wants you to forgive them, but you, you have to make a choice, right? If you do forgive them and fall back into their energy, you, you know that it's built on a false foundation. It's kind of this feeling of chaos, like absolute chaos. Or the Queen of Swords, you could stay loyal to your family crest, your whatever th this is a metaphor for. It, it's something that, it, it's something very noble. If you stay noble, if you choose to be noble, I'm almost getting the sense that if you choose, if you choose to allow this person into your life, then it creates a lot of chaos outside of this connection perhaps. But if you, if you stay true to your family crest, to your status of nobility, then you have to turn your back to this person. You're still juggling it. So it, let's clarify this two of pentacles. For them, defense. Yeah. For you, generosity. You can choose to be defensive or you can choose to be generous to this person. So far, you're, you're being defensive towards them. But you kind of want to be generous. Like there is good energy here. This is someone in your heart space. Not exactly sure what happened with the Ten of Swords, but it's like they want to make up for something that, that went wrong. Um, let's clarify, what should you choose? Let's ask that. What should the choice, what do the spirits advise you in terms of this choice? Ooh, Knight of Cups with the star. Knight of Cups. The King of Swords. And the Three of Swords. Yeah, it's, it's almost like you're being cold to this person. Whoever this is, they're coming in. They want to perhaps ask for an apology, give you an offer of love. Something material is attached to what they're bringing you. So, so it's like they're bringing you a cup. I see being very... You're not showing your emotions. It's, it's this energy where you are thinking in terms of success rather than emotion 
very logical, very concise, very thought out. But there is something here that you haven't forgiven this person for. And I feel that whatever that is, it's, it's that energy of a family crest. Like it would, it would bring you this honor if you, if you forgave something that this person did in the past. You are in your energy here. King of Swords, Air Energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This person could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Let's clarify. Let's clarify the King of Swords. For them? Opportunities. Ooh, for you? Altruism. There's an opportunity here for you to think outside of the box. The King of Swords is, is someone who thinks outside of the box. That's how they get success. They have that precognition of what can be of use in the future, right? I don't, I don't see you forgiving this person, but you're, you're giving them an opportunity to, to make things up to you. It's, it's this selfless energy where, where you, you're, you're giving somebody a chance to do right for whatever they did that was wrong. But you're not going back on this decision. I see you with, with the swords energy. Whatever happened here, it seems like it can't be undone, but you're giving them an opportunity to, to make things up to you. Interesting. In the extended, we'll go to the random love generated questions. Cause this is, I feel that this is a love reading here. That this is someone that, that is, still in your heart space. So we'll ask, what initiative will this love interest take towards you? Oh, we're going to dive deeper here into what they're bringing, what they're doing. Uh, we'll ask, what's the significance for you having this connection with this love interest? What surprises lay in store for you in the next two weeks? And we'll ask, what's the most likely outcome for this connection at this time? Interesting. <laughs> Perhaps we'll, we'll see how they accept or I think they will accept this opportunity that you give them. All right. The link for the extended is down below. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you the best of your choices. Much love.